let's dive straight into our very first Coffee and Crypto Roundtable. And who do we have for you today? We've got Ajit Tripathi with us. He's the Head of Institutional Business at Awe. Hi, Ajit. Welcome to CC. Aniket Jindal is with us, co-founder of uh, Nami. We've got Rohas back with us on the program as well. And Ramesh Kailasam as well, CEO of India Tech. So what are we going to do today is on this roundtable with experts who understand crypto like nobody else, we are going to throw some questions at you and I'll go around the table and understand everybody's view on the same. All right. So are you guys ready to take on the roundtable challenge and get on with the crypto, crypto predictions of bets to be made next year? All right. We'll begin with this year. So the first question that we have for you today is, your crypto moment of 2021. All right. And uh, Ajit, you want to go first? Uh, e easily the Coinbase IPO, right? I think Coinbase IPO brought uh, crypto into the deep end of the regulated institutional mm. segment and made crypto really mainstream. It's, uh, it made everyone, literally everyone in the world, take notice that something was going on. Uh, if you have to pick one, that's the one. Yeah. Aniket? Yeah, I think the year was full of moments, you know, a lot of things happened this year, but I have to pick one. I'll say the entire Elon Musk fiasco, like whatever happened, you know, like in terms of hmm. he promoting Bitcoin or promoting Bitcoin, then Dodgy, like that was hmm. like one of the moments for me. And then the same happened with Web3 as well, and we don't know which way that's going to happen. <laughs> go next as well. Rohas, for you. For me, it would have to be El Salvador making or adopting Bitcoin as legal tender that hmm. happened in September. I think that was mind-blowing. Right. And Ramesh? Well, I'm a regulatory guy, so I'll keep my biases to regulatory hmm. stuff as well. I hmm. think I would say, uh, I mean, we released the white paper this year and, and, hmm. and move towards a structured, defined, possibly some direction towards regulation discussions in India, which otherwise was missing. Uh, I would say that as a turning point in terms of discourse towards crypto in India. Yeah, I actually agree with Ramesh a little over here. And for me also this year, you know, crypto... For me, the biggest moment was that, or perhaps the biggest point uh, in this country this year was crypto became a household name in India. From pawn shops to auto drivers accepting crypto, from prime minister to finance minister talking about crypto at the highest level, being discussed in parliament, in houses, in parties, on WhatsApp chats. Today, even my cleaning woman and my driver actually asks which coin to bet on. So for me, that exactly is the biggest achievement crypto has made this year. It has just become a household name now, which makes it even more exciting for our question number two for the panel, which is we want to understand next the most in-demand categories. It will be very hard to say what is the one thing you want to bet on. So we want to talk about categories first that you are looking at an in-demand categories for the year 2022. So it could be crypto gaming or metaverse, DeFi, Web3. Why don't we start with uh, Rohas this time? Uh, so for me, it's definitely gaming and metaverse, which I would club together. And in mm. that, there are five cryptos that I would bet on. Mm. That's Axis, ENJ, Gala, Mana and Sand. I think these are the absolute top of the list when it comes to this. And I'm very, very bullish on these sectors. Right. All of them, in fact, some of them not doing very well for the past uh, couple of weeks and months. But interesting uh, that you find that. Sure. Yeah. I, I'd recommend that look at it from a one year perspective. Yeah. So if you were to hold it now and go till the end of next year, mm -hmm. I think these would do pretty well. Interesting. Any case for you? It's going to be like more on the like DeFi fund. Like I, I do want to see like see. more hmm. DeFi applications. That is like uh, next gen new banks, you know, like I don't know, like Ajit would comment more on that. But. Something not only crypto savvy users are using, but also like the mainstream audience are trying to use and, you know, like we can make it like more mainstream. Right. Ajit? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's uh, so two things. One is I think institutional adoption of DeFi is here. We yes. launched our arc. Hmm. Uh, just a few days ago, and you know, it's a lot. Uh, and SIBA regulated uh, Swiss bank have applied to be a, a KYC provider on that. Hmm. So, regulated DeFi, large scale institutional DeFi is coming. And I'm uh, since I'm also an investor and a long time supporter of Aniket and Bikeonomy, I would say you know, cross chain bridges uh, are really, really hmm. going to be a big deal next year. Hold on to that. There's a different category and a question on that altogether. Ramesh, your thoughts on what category do you think will really stand out? Well, I would say, I mean, I would tend to agree on the DeFi bit, but I would yeah. also add on the other bit, which I keep talking about for regulation is the online gaming space. Yeah. And there I'm seeing a huge amount of appetite actually looking forward 
to to kind of integrate with crypto and and of course uh, looking at coins and so on so mm-hmm. online gaming space is something which is waiting up for some clarity on this side and and wanting to take off right i'm finding it really fascinating nobody mentioned nft have we exhausted that this year already is going to be something that i'll come back to but let's move on to the next question and this is interesting one i know rohas has already answered but for the rest of the panel i want to go to you on coins to bet on in 2022 aniket with you yeah i think i'm not the right person to comment on it because i kind of stay away from coins like and price predictions i'm more in the technology side of things uh okay. maybe other panelists can comment more on the coins okay ajit which one to better yeah so look i i can't offer an investment advice you know huh. but i mean everyone in crypto talks their own book Hmm. uh so hmm. it's, it's it's tradition so i would hmm. say i ave by economy hmm. you know defi will come back in a big way and then uh, crypto gaming is is great but i think it's also very overpriced there has been a lot of fomo hmm. and, and you know uh, i think bitcoin will start to come back because it's hmm. it's it's something when when the markets become a bit more rational then you hmm. see you know some of the more uh, the, the the cryptos that have survived a long time start to I really see. come back and in ethereum will recover big time next year i see All right so let me move on to the next question now and when it comes to coins one question really on everybody's mind is what is going to be the future for bitcoin will bitcoin remain the king in the year 2022 as well that's an interesting space i can't wait to hear answers on this one we've been reading surveys and uh, you know an experts writing down somebody saying it's going to reach a new high others saying that it's a bubble that is going to burst very soon so let's begin with aniket on this one and see what he has to say yeah i mean in terms of whether bitcoin will be the king or not i'm probably you know, like I, i don't think so you know like uh, we'll get to see in 2022 but i'm more bullish on ethereum i'll say like ethereum has like uh, maybe like it's a very biased opinion like hmm. more potential over bitcoin in terms of whatever we're seeing like developer activity happening over there and stuff happening so uh for me like uh by is very by his opinion like i am more on a it them that way over bitcoin moon forward yeah okay ajit but isn't there already a lot of uh, competition there for ethereum are you seeing that shine out uh, even in 22 Uh, yes and no right so i think uh, ethereum has had some challenges in terms of you know its defi has been a little bit hard to use on ethereum for the ordinary user but then mm. there are solutions like polygon i'm you know a long time supporter of polygon and mm. polygon is india's biggest crypto success story right i think True one bad. thing people aren't realizing is the, that the that the story is in the, the the coins and the prices the story is how big an impact india is going to have all the developer talent and technology talent in is in india is going to have on web3 you know mm-hmm. the, the last time the internet really happened uh, we didn't have i mean i was using dumb terminals at iit kanpur right and we didn't have proper computers and all that in mm-hmm. at homes now it's a very different story now everyone in india is on mobile and computers and now we are really ready to to, to build web3 i th- i think that's the big story so india really needs to focus on the tech side of this All right Rohas for you the question was actually on whether bitcoin remains the king and is ethereum going to see more competition Sure bitcoin is definitely going to remain the king according to me and i would expect a $100000 price by the end of next year Okay and uh, when it comes to ethereum i don't really see it losing its number one position in defi hmm. but it's definitely going to get a lot of competition from polygon binance smart chain solana I think these would be really good competition, but I still uh, Ethereum would still be number one for DeFi. Hmm. All right, uh, Ramesh, you want to sort of weigh in on this everlasting battle between Bitcoin versus Ethereum? Well, I would again give a regulatory spin to it and an India answer, and that is to say, uh, let's look at what Government of India now defines and says in its. upcoming whatever legislation that is hmm. to say these are the coins we are going to allow you guys to trade in india and these are the thresholds and these are the metrics for it so hmm. whoever makes the cut becomes the king then hmm. when the indians start legitimately trading on it based hmm. on some regulation well i doubt if bitcoin will not make the cut if not bitcoin then what that's something that we'll have to see to but let's move on to the next one in another word which has dominated this year's conversation and it has had everybody jump on to it there have been twitter wars over it as well and i yes i am talking about web3 expectations in 2022 now web3 in 21 was all about vcs pumping in investment on betting on it on uh, of course elon musk fighting over it as well as was mentioned earlier but aniket uh, web3 for you 
specifically, which way do you see this moving forward? Are we getting closer to realizing or we are still in the framework of finding out and you know figuring out Web3? I think this is a very close topic and my entire company is based on Web3 only. So uh, from last year, years, we've been building on, you know, having Web3 adoption and getting more and more developers coming in the space. Definitely, you know, like uh, 2022 is going to be a lot on Web3. Mm. Uh, I already see like a lot of existing Web2 companies mm. switching some part of the operations to Web3 and new new like developers coming in, mm. starting to build on Web3 rather than Web2. So, uh, you know, um, we will see like a lot of Web2 companies, you know, like, having some part, you know, like uh, they they are really working on Web3 plus a uh, lot of new gaming DeFi companies already going to be setting up Web3. So I'm, I'm very much bullish on you know entire Web3 and and whatever you know like new developments will be seen in the space. Not only from the developer standpoint, you know like mm. talk of the VC space. Uh, people have now and VC firms have like separate arms where they just focus on Web3 investments. Mm. So uh, this is a very hot and bullish topic and like a suggestion to everyone who's kind of either is a entrepreneur or developer, you know. Very closely look at Web3 and try to do something here. You know, do and don't you do is going to be mostly about Web3 in my opinion. I see. Mostly about Web3 then, Ajit. Yeah, yeah. So, so look, we are, I, I think let's draw some context, right? We hmm. are in a cross-asset class bubble right now. And, and that's because the Federal Reserve and central banks around the world have mm. been printing a lot of money, trillions mm. of dollars, right? Mm. So there is too much money in the system and everyone is speculating. So there is a lot of speculation. Uh, Indians have invested over 85 plus billion in crypto, yes. but then it's not just crypto, right? We have mm. meme stocks and property bubble and commodities bubble and so on. Mm. When all, the, all of this has settled down and we have kind of, you know, normal service has been restored in terms of monetary policy and, and, and all of that. Then, then it's really a tech story. It's not a, a, a buying and selling and trading story. Mm -hmm. And the tech story is being built by the likes of, you know, Aniket and his team mm -hmm. and Polygon and, and uh, you know, and Anave and so on. And, and the tech story is that we are starting to build a class of applications mm -hmm. that will be user owned, right? Mm -hmm. so, so unlike Facebook, that's owned by Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, Google not owned apps, by but dApps. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now it's 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 not going to be about you know people printing money out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about uh, you know user own platforms. But do you that see that being realized in twenty two or we're still some totally. time away from that? Rohas, right. how soon or how close are we really to realizing uh, Web three? I think it's already there in a big way. So if I look at my favorite Web three coin, so first would be BAT or Basic Attention Token. And as a content creator, I've been getting paid in BAT for like over a year now. Hmm. And I see the use of it, it really makes sense to me and to most of the content creators I know. Another project that I actually end up using a lot is Filecoin, which is kind of like the Airbnb for data storage. Yeah. And the third is Theta for video streaming. Now, these three platforms or cryptos are already there in the mainstream. Hmm. So I think Web 3.0 is already there. It's just that the terminologies we can't all agree on. Hmm. But I think it's already there. Pretty big. All right, so I only have time to take one more question, and this one is going to be Ramesh's domain. The word for this year, for crypto in India at least, was regulation, right? We almost saw bill happen and then taken back. We almost saw ban come into place, then taken back. We almost saw a cabinet clearance as well, and then taken back for a relook. So what exactly are we expecting in 2022? And, you know... I, mean, I want to understand this from you. The information NDTV has as of this moment is that there's nothing happening on the regulation front, at least to the time elections are over. So post that, are we expecting some dramatic sort of uh, regulation to come in, bill to be passed perhaps in 22? Well, there are two ways of looking at it. And mm. I think uh, all the information that you mentioned, I tend to agree with you on that. But uh, if you look at the white paper that we had released, the reason I go back to that is because... Mm. In the white paper, we had recommended everything that you can do without even a bill, uh, which means that today if the government decides and, and you have the budget session of parliament coming up uh, in January, end, yeah. uh, beginning of February, hmm. they can name it in the budget session, in the, in the budget document to hmm. say cryptocurrencies will be treated this way and this is how they will be taxed and hmm. this is how the relevant changes in respective acts have to be made. You can tweak four or five acts hmm. and make it into a regulation of sorts hmm. automatically. So my sense is that, I mean, ideally, if, if, if the government reads my white paper even more on a second look basis, uh, I would tend to make their life easier by saying, don't go for a bill, just tweak all your existing regulations and allow things. And where hmm. necessary, come out with specific clauses and so on as we go along. 
but my reading is that we need to have something in place in the budget hmm. we can't be uh, kind of put Bring it over and over and again. I, 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 I tend to see a clarity emerging in the budget document. In the budget document itself, that's interesting. Ajit, for you? Yeah, so I, I think, look, uh, there, there is no point in exi applying existing rules to the new internet, right? So if, if that's what Bill Clinton and Al Gore had done, we would not have the, the internet we have today. So, so I think we really need to acknowledge the nature of this mm. technology mm. and really, you know, up, uh, update our existing rules and regulations mm. uh, to, to what's really going on with the tech. And I think that's where innovators like Aniket, myself, the, mm. you know, our uh, DeFi ecosystem, we need to kind of work with policymakers to educate and inform and mm. work collaboratively to figure out regulations that make sense. If we apply existing rules, we're just going to hurt Indian economy for the next Right, And I think what everybody is really seeking in 2022 in terms of regulation is clarity on this front. We want to know for sure which way. Because, you know, one news and an old document that actually surfaced sort of brought, brought a bloodbath in the markets. That's something that everybody wants to avoid. Isn't that true, Aniket? Yeah, I mean, like, definitely uh, running a company from India, definitely that's something we want to see because uh, all our team members, employees were always kind of scared, you know, what's going to happen, how we should actually think of future, whether it's going to come or not. Plus, a normal, you know, like a headline is misinterpreted in like, so many different ways. Mm. So as for Indian entrepreneurs and developers who are like, building on the space, we definitely want more clarity so that we can stay in India, work, work here, and also like, you know, like, uh, help with the economy. Right. Rohas, last word. Regulation. Sure. Stuff that so you're I, looking forward to. So I'm hoping that the government takes a functional approach and instead of trying to put all cryptos into one basket, there are 11 different very clear categories mm -hmm. and I think we need yeah. separate laws to handle. Some can be done under existing but some are going to need a new legislation. I'm hoping the government takes the functional approach. All right. So regulation is a subject actually that is definitely moving forward. But going by what Ramesh has said that maybe something is coming up in the budget session that will be interesting to watch out for.